Hey guys, you ever undo your uh, sewer cap and get a rush of sewage and uh, get it all over your hands? I'm going to show you how to fix that. We have these cable type valves. What we're looking at here is the um, this is a gray water valve, and then it has a cable that runs right over to there. Uh, you'll have two of them. One for the gray, one for the black, uh, and maybe a galley one too if you uh, have a galley tank. Um, so what will happen is those valves will kind of get leaky over time. Um, and there's two causes for that. One, you may have a problem with the blade valve itself. Or two, the valve just may be uh, plugged up with stuff and it just needs to be taken apart. So these valves sell for about 65 bucks a piece on eBay with the, um, the cable assembly. Um, but before you go and drop, you know, over 120 bucks on uh, new valves, it's worth getting under here and taking them apart and just seeing if something's gumming them up. Um, and I'm going to show you how to take these apart. So they're really easy. Let me get under here a little more. Um, there's four, four bolts and nuts here. You just have to undo those four. Obviously, you want to empty your tanks before you do this. Um, and then take these uh, nuts and bolts out. All the way around the pipe and then you have to take these screws out here and then here and here and then there's a set screw for the cable right up in here so you unscrew that and then you're free you can um, you can slide the cable assembly off which will come out it'll look like this when you slide it off and then you just have to pull down on the pipe a little bit and then you can slide the actual valve assembly out and uh, I'll show you what that looks like in a minute because I've already got the the black uh, valve out and uh, cleaned up so we'll go over there and uh, take a look at what causes those to leak okay so here's the black tank valve and it's out and it's all it's already been cleaned up um, so you have two pieces of rubber there two rubber gaskets um, that fit on either side of the blade valve and one of the problems with these things is there's a seal right in here that can get gummed up. Uh, it might need a little oil put on it. And then what I found in mine particularly was in that little notch down there, right in here, where the blade sits when it's closed, gets jammed up full of toilet paper or whatever else you throw in your holding tank. Uh, and in my case, I think it may have been a couple paper towels and maybe even... Um, some baby wipes so if any of you guys think that uh, using baby wipes out there and throwing them in your holding tank is a great idea I can tell you that it's gonna end in you taking one of these valves apart um, baby wipes are great but they can't go in the holding tank um, so basically you just gotta take this thing all apart and uh, clean all the gunk out of there and get it looking like a new valve again get everything lubricated I put some oil on the shaft here and then sprayed some oil on the uh, the blade itself with the rubber grommets here or the rubber gaskets you want to make sure everything's sliding nice and uh, good nice and easy and then you should have a near new valve by the time you're done cleaning this thing up okay so this is the cable assembly that goes on to the top of the valve right here um, the next thing you got to do is get this thing all cleaned up. Um, you can see that they're usually sealed up with some sort of tape here where the, the cable comes up and actuates the valve. I ripped mine open because I was having leakage problems and I thought, well, if I can get in there and just push it closed manually, that might help. Well, it's not going to help if there's something actually in, in the way of the blade valve like there was in mine. Um, so basically, you got to get this thing cleaned up again and then uh, put back together and resealed otherwise a bunch of gunk is going to get in there and uh, that shaft on the blade valve that you lubricated right here is going to get all um, dirty and dusty and uh, all of a sudden it'll be super hard to close all right so here's a little better look at that um, assembly the cable pull assembly so your blade valve uh, would be right here that rod sits in here and then the cable actuates the rod up and down here obviously you can see that's really dirty it's been under the trailer a long time uh, that tape's been open because I unsuccessfully 
tried to manually operate the valve. Um, <clears throat> so basically we're just going to give this thing a good cleaning and uh, get it all put back together and taped up uh, so that it stays clean inside. Okay, so here's an interesting problem, a contributing factor to the leaky valve that I found uh, after I got everything cleaned up and reassembled. So this thing is in the all the way closed position. And you can see when I get the cable inserted here, there's a little hole there that this cable sheath fits in. And then there's a stop. So it'll only go in so far and bottom out. And you can see right there the control wire barely even touches the back side of the valve. So there's no way that it could have closed it all the way. So I'm gonna have to trim that cable sheath up and uh, get a little more throw out of this wire. All right, so it's about an hour later and uh, what I ran into was this little piece of wire here was too short. So I had to lengthen it by cutting off a good portion of the sheath and then adjust it to where it would push the uh, the blade valve all the way closed. So one thing that I kind of realized was that um, when you push on the T-handle the here, you can see those lines flex and they, they end up kind of uh, taking some of the length away through the flexing. So basically you need to adjust it to where that T-handle is still outwards a little bit uh, outside of the, um, has some, sp some length left um, up against the stop basically so you can do that when the blade valve is all the way closed and that will give you a little bit of leverage to get this thing pushed like the last quarter inch closed uh, so you can see now when I actuate it also you want to lubricate this uh, rod right here So you kind of have to hold it closed for a second as it finishes closing. And then if I reach up, that's all the way closed. There's no more. All right, there you go. The um, cable actuator there is all taped up on both sides, uh, sealed off from the elements and the road grime and everything. Um, so basically all we have to do is just repeat this process with uh, this guy here, which is the gray water valve. So that's it. That's how you uh, fix a leaky blade valve or dump valve on your uh, RV. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please go ahead and hit the subscribe and notify buttons. Um, hit the uh, share button, the like button. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave me some comments. Uh, or if you just have any comments about the repair, I'd be happy to uh, to read them. So uh, leave me some comments below and uh, I'll, I'll respond to them. And thank you guys for watching.